Hi, it's the middle of the night. I don't want to take too much time doing this. There's been quite a lot going on today. I've been, I think it's all documented good enough on my uh, messenger page for me to go back and visit. Pays to do that. So I think my last upload was the rainbows. The rainbow. The one that didn't have an end. And I was in the middle of Jonathan Click video when I saw it. I did two parts. You'll notice me keep saying that it, it didn't have an end and then I had to put another one up saying I found an end. But there was emphasis on it. That is a pretty strange set of videos. It's the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me, the dirty, filthy lizard frog thing. Oh, Yellow's back. He's been out wicker hunting. Come on, little, little Yellow. Did you not find a wicker? Yeah. I'm from the East End, right? That's, that's what God's doing now. He's telling us about the lovers, right? We're the lovers. Did you know that my testimony's a love story? Yeah, it's a love story. I didn't know I was going to share this one. Try and do the stupid accent. I'm not going to do the accent. <laughs> but I have to share this one first now. I, I full circle share the same dreams because the Lord stopped me having, I haven't had a dream for a long time. But there's a lot of dreams in there. And there's a lot of words in there. And nobody heard them. And I broke down the rainbow connection, led by the Lord, before the truther did it. Don't follow the truther, they get hurted. But he knew there was something about the rainbow connection. And we're the lovers. Me, the froggy, that's Elohim. You know the ones that click put up? The one that, the interview with that man who was abducted for aliens, and he said, we're aliens, we're Elohim. Are you pretty? We think we are, which is basically the ugly. You got it? The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Elohim and the ugly. The good. The bad and the ugly. So, <laughs> I'm here for the ones in the middle. The piggy in the middle. That's you, eh? Yellow. You're the piggy in the middle, aren't you? Yeah, you're the odd one out. The one ups, one downs. They still have a chance. Because there is a certainly an up. And there's a certainly a down, and there's a middle one, which is the bad, which are the dreamers, the bad dreamers. Lord, take the bad dreamers. Do a miracle. And I know he will because I've seen them. I've seen them in the rowboat with their pillows. Very... Cross a mercy to the land. Whatever. I've seen them. And before I see that, Rick Joyner walks into my caravan, and that's why I screenshot this strange episode after I got back from the rainbow that only had a beginning and didn't have an end, and then it had an end. 
finish line. And I sat here and I mucked around my phone, uploading easy. My phone played up. My phone's playing up on the upload. And then it, it just showed these pictures of the skies. Like I had, but I'd been looking at the sky and then it showed sort of like a, a theme of the skies. And it, I don't know if it was recommended, but it's not in my saved videos and it's Rick Joyner talking about miracles. And then there's two pictures of the aeroplanes, the most the best evidence I've seen other than the fact that the Lord said that the chem at the back of the aeroplanes is real. He told me it was real. That's why I believe it. Not science. It had two thumbnails of that, that same video. So it had Rick saying something about miracles and two thumbnails of that in the skies. And really I haven't watched a lot of videos up to that point today. I watched about the sulfur coming out, um, the sulfur skies, yeah, and um, I watched a couple of updates on the Palmer, and that was a sort of them today, and it showed that I'd watched two videos that I hadn't watched, yeah, yes it did yellow. But I didn't watch them. Fear no man. Which I'll link. And that's what's causing me now to share a dream. Fear no man. But I haven't looked at the other one. Rise and shine. Now that was a doozy. A real doozy. I've only watched one video of hers. And I can't remember how I got led to it but it's on my messenger and I can always go back to it. See, I'm a lover. They're the one, they're the ups, the rainbow connection. And that is my story. This is a song that never ends and it goes on and on, my friend. And the Lord woke me up and he said, it's story time. And then he took me to Gemini Man, the movie. And he sits in a hotel and the mural behind him is the exact same picture, just slightly different clothes, and they've added a little brother. And right at this moment, I have my little brother in Melbourne. It's a big sister reading a story to a little brother. She's holding a book, and it's called Storytime. He said, I'm going to tell you a story. Then I went to Gemini Man and I saw the mural behind him which reminded me of this piece of art that my dad had given me when I was a child called Storytime. It was exactly the same. It was a copy. When you copy something and you just change some things, took the wee boy out of it and instead of the book, the two pillows. The two pillows. The pillows? were the storybook in Gemini Man, which is about clones and twins, which of course takes us back to Bam Bam. And us. Twins. In Timaru, you know, three girls died. Their mother murdered them. In one set of twins. And Dad said, is this really happening? I'm the lover. I'm the lover. That's what the Lord called us. The lovers. The dreamers. Some would think. See, if I was using my natural mind, I'd think I was a dreamer because God called me chosen, but it's a lovers. Kermit says we're wrong, but we aren't wrong. You're not wrong about the rainbow. It's a promise. And it's got everything to do with the days of Noah and the flood. And maybe even a little bit to do with Jonah. The three days of darkness. That's going to happen.
did my ancestors come over the last name and I have just had to contact my sister who I blocked on Facebook to, to just check on my brother because there's some quite violent um, protests in Melbourne plus there was a an earthquake there which is probably about as surprising wasn't as big I don't know it hasn't been the major event but it's been an earthquake there but it's a surprise because it's like Christ Church having an earthquake that was we it's not an earthquake place that where I am now is where the earthquakes were supposed to happen on the ring of fire but well they're on the other side they're on the east not the west it was a surprise I just have added a, a new friend to my messenger and I said before I went to sleep, God loves surprises. Surprise! Yeah, please watch Fear No Man because the reason why I'm stopping to tell you this dream is because of, I've watched one of the videos that the Lord put up that I said, I, that he said I watched. He is, he is, he never stops. He never stops loving. So my ancestors came, and their last name is Stitchbury. S T I C H B U R Y. We we're from two boys, an older brother and a younger brother. They came in about eighteen thirty on the boat called the Gananok. Called Gananok to Walker. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I have a. It's what you. It's what you say in introduction when you're in the middle. I know that because I did a multi course. Why did I do a multi course? Why did I put a year of my life into a multi course? Because of a dream. <laughs> and it cost me three thousand dollars. In nineteen ninety seven. Three thousand dollars was a lot of money. And. I jeopardised my course because I knew I had a very evil tutor who I liked very much but was shit scared of. And God woke me up and said, you can't go down to the Whadanui, their church, and say that you come from Elohim, <coughs> that, that they fucked and you were born. That's what they wanted me to say. And he said, you can't say that. I didn't know I was going to say it because it was, full immersion and mouldy and I hadn't learnt enough yet. I had to list 130 gods and say that my grandparents from then on, well, not, you just put your grandparents' name in and then you say kaput of my, which means they fucked the gods and out kaput of my was me. It's like out popped Lisa. He said I couldn't say it. She said you got no ticket. And I know that this is going to mean something to Angela if she watches it because she, I'm messenger. See, I'm just, this is just a stream. It's not a stream of consciousness what I do here. It's a Holy Spirit stream. It's, it's like a duck down a river. Everything you say, everything you do will be him. That's what we've got to look forward to. And I know how frustrating it is to be mixed. I still are, but when I'm talking like this, I just, I know, I know it's increasing the glory. Everything you say, you're like a duck. Be like a duck, the Lord said. <laughs> Be like a duck. Easy as. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Make sense now? Yes, they know. She knows. And he knows. Dream. Back to the dream. Later. First. Why I'm a lover. So the youngest boy falls in love with. And they are from the east end of London. Someone from the upper side 
you know, the one up, two down, you know, um, upstairs, downstairs. Upstairs, downstairs, the Lord is showing me is what Jeff Riley was doing. My hand is burning or bubbling. Not burning. Yes, it is. It's, I don't know. <laughs> what Jeff Riley was doing. He went in this other, I'm talking about another dream now. He was restoring a house and the face of it, the facade of it, it was off. I walked past, saw him in there renovating a house but there was no door no front and the stairway goes straight up from the doorway and those one up one down he's in the middle room there is a door in the far room and i realize at the end of the room his wife comes in but she's on the other side of that door so it's not me that has to be there she's going to look after him but there's box in front of me He's standing there. We're not even talking. I'm a witness to these people turning up. Boys. Young boys, they were. Now, this is this is getting back to what I need to share in the next dream, okay? Remember that. Young boys. Just keep in the back of your mind, Elisha. After Elijah went up, Yes, and, and he was, the witness was Elisha, went up in the chariot, which is how Rick Jordan is going home. Just don't question anything I say, I know it. He's going home. God's got a real surprise for Rick Joyner. It's in that type of fashion, let's say. And Rick Joyner goes home that way. Now, is it because of that? Is that why the sign is Rick Joyner? Because the Lord told me that. Rick Joyner goes home that way. Now this is about Elisha then goes one place, but he ends up going up a mountain and the young children, young boys, youths, mock him about his bald head. Baldy, 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 baldy. And he curses them and the two she bears come up and they maul the 32 children, tear them to shreds. When I think of a young boy and I've looked at a young teens, does it remind you of, you would describe a teenage boy, bum fluff, broken voice. Their high pitch, broken voice. Well, that's what I heard in Fear No Man. That's why I'm going to share the dream. Now, just hold that one. Can you do this? Only in the Holy Spirit can you do this. Hold that one in the air like a, like, so the Elijah one with the teenage boys, remember it. I'm talking about standing in front of an upstairs, one up, one down, standing in front of Jeff Briley and the young youth. There's two. One's, one is bald. He doesn't say anything, but that's how those two are connected. They are young teens, one is bald. But he's not a skinhead. He's just bald. Does that make sense? I knew he was. He, I look. I know what a skinhead looks like. Like when he arrived, I wasn't threatened by him. Like I didn't think, oh shit, here we go. Here we go. And when you see a skinhead, the boots and all that and all the cladding. Because that's the only reason why a young person would be bald. It, honest, it mostly is. Especially in New Zealand. He just was bald. Not bad. That's what I'm trying to say. That's how the Lord is deepening this dream. He wasn't bad. And you know why I know he wasn't bad now? Because at first I thought he was bad. Because he did something bad. But he did it, and it was God. Did you know it was God who called the she bears out to attack those children? I mean, Elisha can't curse and have it happen without it being God. You know that, don't you? Well, that boy grabbed a box cutter, 
from the cardboard boxes in front of him after he had said, and I don't quite remember his words, but his, he had said something like, what are you doing? Who gave you permission to do that? He was an, he was an angel or something. Who gave you permission to do that? Who gave you permission to do that? He didn't say it like that, but this is what the Holy Spirit's doing now. Who gave you permission to do that? To start renovating the upstairs and downstairs. Jeff Briley. Then he grabbed a box cutter and he, as quicker than I could do anything to help, he shoved it in the side of his neck and it was vividly bleeding artery. I grabbed a tea towel. Those boys went. I don't know if they ran or anything. Of course, I was just focusing on Jeff. And I applied direct pressure to his neck. And it filled up quickly. And he was standing. And that was the end of the dream. But I knew his wife came through. I was applying first aid. Right, I get upset thinking about it. It was really hard for me. There's no way without the Lord would I have be, be seeing, sharing this now saying that was God who did that. But it is, and it's Elijah. <laughs> Elisha. These are the days of Elijah. You know what? <laughs> okay. The reason I had to share that is because the last dream is about young men with squeaky high-pitched voices, okay? You've got to understand that calamity comes. Like calamity, Jane. Calamity comes. Destruction comes. Devastation comes. And it's from God. And if you're trusting in the truth is in science and the detectives, you're a hypocrite. You're double-minded. And I've looked it up. And if you're anxious, I've looked that up. I've, sh I've been shown it. I don't, I don't read my Bible. The Lord gets me to look things up. Then I read it. Because there's trouble with the Bible, because the Bible's changed. But when I look things up, I trust it. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's them who are going to run around. Without the word of God, they can't find it. It's not us. Because we know it's Holy Spirit. We know it's Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. My voice is cracking because I'm a teenager. Fear no man said it. I don't think I have to finish those dreams that I've started. But I will. Please try and hold on to the teenagers, the squeaky voice, right? And Jeff Riley. And um, Rick Joyner going up. And Elisha going up the hill and cursing 32 children. And I have to tell you that I got confirmation of that because on the Jimmy Kimball show in 2016 or 2015 or 2019, I can't remember, I've linked it, you can look it up, the Audian, what do you call it, car on Back to Future turns up, I know I'm a dick, I know I am, anyway. My children hated the way I couldn't say words. I would if I can't remember it. I'll just throw a sound out, <laughs> and they learned to understand me. I was always, but they laughed with me. My family, my first family, the one that I was not the one that I gave birth to, the one that I was born into. I suppose they laughed with me, but they threw me in a rubbish bin, and they were laughing at me. The Lord showed me they laughed at me. I saw them in the dining room laughing at me. He reminded me of that. That was my sister. That was my older brother. 
my little brother, he would have just laughed because he was little. But my mother laughed at me. Anyway, um, the DeLorean, ha, came in, ha, and it was a wee skit on stage with Back to the Future. And the old fella in the white overalls, he ran off to go back to the future. And Kimmel ran up to him and said, hey, wait a sec, before you go, can you tell me what my future is? And he said, looked at him seriously, and he said, you're going to die. A big group of children, say the number, are going to maul you and tear you to shreds. And that was when the Lord had quickened that scripture to me about the she bear that comes out of the woods. You can't see the bear from the woods. That's the problem with the troopers and the detectives. They can't see the bear from the woods. But I saw it. And it's Bam Bam. He's just God's pawn. And I see him. And then the Lord brings him out. And this is the surprise. He's coming out. I'm coming up. I want the world to see. Yeah. He's coming out. And he's going on a white tarpaulin. Like Clex tarp. Except it's white. Because I had one at the time. And we're going to see a brown bear. Because you can't miss it, can you? And then God's hand comes down. He picks up. Four corners like a hanky. And the word is, I'm wrapping this thing up. 2020. All wrapped up. Yeah. Just like Naz X's baby that was due on the 17th, when which started all this that I'm doing now. I have not been able to stop since the 17th. God has not slowed down for me. And he gave me the word 207 over my receipt. At supermarket, I got declined three times. I just got a new pair of glasses. I thought I had $207 in my account, but I had 201 And I was playing the Eagles. Welcome to the Hotel California. You know you can never leave, don't you? I screenshot my receipts. You know, all the declines on my account. And um, I opened one of them up just to find out what the actual bill was. Because it was 101, 107. And that I paid 101 finally on my account and then just paid cash. Right? The one I pressed on, guess what time it was? 7.17. See, because that's when... Little Naz's baby was born, well, Joe, on the 17th of September. And that's when it all was started for me. And I know about Little Naz because of Jonathan Clegg. I don't watch <laughs> that type of music unless I'm led by the Lord. And I'm on Instagram following Bam Bam. And I know I'm on, yeah. I didn't know that Twitter had showed the present that Bam Bam had sent Little Naz if it hadn't been for Jonathan Clegg. And the present was, and I know what it is, and Jonathan doesn't, and it is true, he is greater than me, I know he is. The Lord said, he gave me a patu, I can feel it in my hand, a big Māori greenstone patu. It's like the sword. It's like the sword that Jesus wields on the white horse in the harvest. I held that as well. See my hand? I can feel it in my hand. That's what the, the sword feels different from the patu. But when he gave me that patu, do you know what he said? Because you know John, and he met Johnny, 
he called him John because you know John. I'm giving you this weapon. And it was just after I had the encounter with the man sitting near where Yellow is, who ended up putting a nail in my dog Glory's eye and also putting his fingers, his hand to his throat and going, <sharp inhale> and he said, how do you know you can trust me? I could slit your throat. Then he sat there and he put a scarf over his head like a hijab and pulled it over his face. He did it three times and there was no, there was tension between us. I just watched. Three times and it's, it was it was really in bad taste <coughs> because people had just died in the Elnor Mosque and he, and he did that. It was the same night. It was really in bad taste. And um, when he said, how do you know you can trust me? God had already given me the words to say back. And he was like Alex. Like how Alex hung his head when Fleck said, time's up. Well, the Lord said, time's up, Mariah Carey, to me. He said it in 2019. Christmas. She stole Christmas, didn't she? Like the Grinch. The Queen of Christmas, suddenly she's famous again. She has a high-pitched voice too, doesn't she? And she took the B and she put it on Twitter. And she said, I've got something to show you. And then she, she had a couple of friends there. And what did her friend have? Well, she wasn't showing us anything. She was introducing him, but he, he never said anything. She just showed his T-shirt. And what was on his T-shirt? Purple rain, purple rain. And the people who administered the poison... We're wearing purple gloves. And that led me, when he, the Lord said, Time's up, Mariah Carey, that led me to look at her Twitter page. And that Christmas, but the next Christmas, right, which is last Christmas, so it's 2019 Christmas, 2020 Christmas, that's when I saw something really significant from Mariah Carey. It was actually an election. It was during the election. There were purple gloves, a white sheet that had like graffiti that looked like blood, and there were words on it, and I, 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 I freeze-framed it, and I saw what they were, and it said, not yet. That was the election. And then later, at Christmas, it was the same ghoulish man. No, it was the same tweet. Not yet. And I know it was Christmas because, because that was the elections, election time. Then the same ghoulish man goes to a door, goes to a door, just like Click saying, turns the door, opens it, and guess who's behind that? Mariah Carey in reindeer pyjamas under a tree with her ugly little dog in reindeer, reindeer horns. And when I had my communist invasion dream, the bear was moving like this, upside down, and there was three other pictures, and they were of reindeers, and they were sitting upright. And then I had a vision of three kings riding, one, the first one was T Rump, second, Bidden, and the third, Bam Bam, and they were all riding at the same time. And that was January, either the sixth or the ninth, and there's a reason why I do that, because remember the upside down upside down paradigm? The cancer. What Billy said in his testimony. Go and have a look at Billy's testimony on YouTube. He's gonna put some more up on YouTube and I can't wait. But I watched something yesterday, yesterday morning. I watched a wee bit. The Lord led me to watch them. And he mentioned the six and the nine. <laughs> it's upstairs and downstairs, isn't it? It's upstairs and downstairs. It's all about Christmas. 
Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on Christmas. Last Christmas. So whatever's happening now, the Lord is showing me Christmas as well. And he always will be. And it started a long time ago. So that's a rebuke to Jeff Riley. And the only thing I know that he's done is his family members. That, well, I'll tell you what he's done. He's done exactly what Clack is warning all us to do. He's saying it's time to let go. It's time to let go. It's the finish line. Let go of everything in this world. He's let go of his kids. Well, that's what's happened to Jeff. He can't let go. And he's being rebuked. He doesn't have the truth. And he's trying to renovate the church. The upstairs and downstairs. What's the church? Well, basically, let's just say, if we're all angels, some are down, some are up, some are one up, one down. He does not have He does not have the ticket. He doesn't have the golden ticket to do it. The Lord's not happy. And he bled out. This is the final countdown. Da da dun dun. Da da dun dun dun. Da da dun dun. The final. Right, the Lord spoke to me yesterday about that and he gave me a little switcheroo with the words. This is the final curtain. Yes, I'm in the theatre of Jeremiah. I'd never seen the end of it. I turned up at intermission, remember? I just floated in. <laughs> I don't know why I get to float. It's not fair. I can't understand why other people don't. I never did. It's just what I am. It's a supernatural thing. See that? It's the Holy Spirit. The final curtain. It's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm not a young man whose voice is breaking. Remember that. <sighs> Time is running out, is what Fear No Man said. And he mentioned Holy Spirit. And as he said it, his voice broke. My ancestors come here. Now this couple that fell in love, the older brother come to New Zealand Six months later, the younger brother come on a ship. And six months after that, that girl ran off. She had been forbidden to marry him. She dressed as a cabin boy. She turned up in a, at the beach off the boat at Petone Beach in Wellington. And they were the first English wedding. Maybe an Anglican priest turned up there in a rapo hut, which is a flax hut. That's my ancestry. It's a love story. So, I've got a couple of minutes left. We know, remember the Back to the Future, 32, a whole lot of children kill him, tear him to shreds. Well, it's just a switch row, isn't it? It's the bear that kills the children. And Satan is God's pawn. We are all angels. Now, remember, I'm, now I'm talking about angels. So I call on the name of Jesus, but I just want to just throw this out here because that's what the Lord says with this high pitched voice. Okay, that's what he, this is. This is what He wanted to tell you at the beginning. Okay, listen up. Two thousand eighteen. I was having a bath at Paul's. I got a text. I'd put my name out at the hall and the and the dairy, and the pub in Kamara as a builder. I got a text and I thought it was some building work. But there was something funny about what they were saying. And he, he said, oh, my friend wants a, wants, wants a, has got a job for you. And I said, well, how, he said, how much do you charge? And I said, it depends on the job. But, like, you know, I'll do it for 50 bucks. Especially if it's an older person. I'll do it for nothing. Right. Then I went out and showed Paul. Paul said, oh, they're propositioning you. They think you're a prostitute. I went, 
Why do they think I'm a prostitute? He said, oh, that's the rumour. Anyway, that night, I wasn't worried about it. I was a bit pissed off. I'm sleeping in the glory hut. And you know how you have those dreams that happen in the room you're in? Well, I could hear these young men coming up to the hut. And I knew they were teenagers because their voices were broken, high-pitched. I got up as quick as I could to shut, to close the sliding door, which has broken the hatch. And this big boy, you know how they can be real big, he grabbed both sides of the door and pulled it open. And it was scary. I was going to be gang-banged. And do you know, I've never used the word, I never think about angels before. I, I thought it was new age, basically. That's what I said. The Lord gave me a word and it was angel. And it just went white light, white like that, white like that. And everything was gone and there was peace. So please remember that word. I know we've been taught to use the name of Jesus, but I've seen the angels gathering and they were sent out from heaven to serve us. I saw them on the bench seat. There's two. I saw one sitting, the other one was draped over. And this is in 2018, before I knew anything about us being angels. But I knew that the one draped over the other was a man. We are angels. But they're the angels that haven't left their first estate. They had this camaraderie and they've been sent out two by two young and old, and they're beside you. They're beside you. So be led because the angel is like a safe word. Be led, but please remember this. You have angel, an angel. Click has Michael. And I think, I believe I have Gabriel. I have Gabriel. I'm going to link Fear No Man. And I think it's around about three minutes that he mentions a high-pitched voice. So bless you guys. And there's some sort of link now to 9-11 with Al Palmer. You know there is. There is. It's the bomb, remember? I'll pet, um, I pet go. A guy breaks that down. And yeah, I can see that volcano. And I can see it's like a nuclear bomb coming out of it. But the thing is, when they, when they measure the impact of the lava they do it in nuclear bomb power so that's what that is i just watched it yesterday they talk about this much of a nuclear bomb was the power of the eruption when all those little vents are breaking so that's what it is it's not a bomb truther dumb truthers it's not a bomb it's the power of it an ipet goat i'll put that and there is a island you can see it's unnatural breaking off an iPod pet goat I'm going to put the picture up a trooper found it but I'm telling you now it's not a bomb it's not like a chemtrail thing it's not done by man it's a god thing God's doing it it's a trumpet he does it stupid